Hello colleagues, this is Deary, and I'm greeting you here from my office in Manakee, where we are in the midst of a crazy time right now. But before I get into my craziness, I want to tell you a little bit about some things that are happening here at the college. Welcome back from spring break. I hope that you are refreshed and especially enjoying what I think is spring now. Uh, no more last minute winter thunderstorms or snowstorms. Uh, we officially passed the halfway point of the semester and there have already been some terrific events that have taken place here at the college. Our Montgomery County Police Chief Tom Manger packed the room for our second Dialogue Across Difference, a conversation on police and community relations. And we hosted a very successful Maryland Male Students of Color Summit with students from two year colleges throughout Maryland. An MC's Got Talent show took place last Thursday and it was fantastic. I can't believe how much talent we have here at Montgomery College. And speaking of talent, our transfer fair drew about 900 Montgomery College students just before the break. And that's a lot of academic talent that is moving into the next phase. So I'm always pleased to see that. And I realize it is a crazy busy time, but I want to remind you of a few upcoming events. Uh, the State of the College is taking place tomorrow, and I hope you'll join us to share time with some very special guests that I've invited to join me. Three former presidents of the college will join us to share their insights on the college at 70 years old. Uh, doctors Robert Perilla, Charlene Nunley, and Herc Pinckney will all be present. And I'm looking forward to hearing their thoughts on the college's success over these last 70 years. We also have our third Presidential Dialogue Series guest speaker this week, Ambassador Connie Morella, who will join me in a conversation on our Rockville campus. Connie served eight terms in the U.S. Congress during some really, I think, partisan times and was able to make a difference and bridge people together. As you know, we've seen plenty of political partisanship taking place right now these days. So I'm looking forward to learning from her and hearing her wisdom and observations about the times we're in right now. I encourage students of history, politics, government to turn out. Actually, anybody who wants to hear what I hope will be a great conversation, please do so. And for our faculty and staff, these dialogues also satisfy your diversity requirement for training this year. So there are many reasons to show up and I hope all of you do so. We had a board of trustee meeting uh, not too long ago. On Monday was our third board meeting of the semester. The board heard a thorough presentation about the academic master plan and the goals it contains to support student success. We also took a closer look at the impacts of our community engagement work here at the college. And we talked about how best to remain firm in our commitment to inclusion and equity here at the college. Now I know that the political climate is unsettling for so many of us but we will remain focused on higher education for everyone who seeks it. And I wanna reiterate that the college and the board of trustees remain steadfast in their dedication to building communities that propel all students to success. Now, as you know, budget season is in full swing. It happens every year this time. And last week I attended the county council work session and meetings with several council members about our budget. And I also participated in our fourth budget education forum uh, on behalf of Councilmember Rice at Walter Johnson High School. And as I've written to you in the memo that came out over spring break, the uh, county executive's recommended budget includes a $2 million increase in the college's operating budget. Uh, compensation increases for our employees were the basis of our requested increase because we all know how important your work is to student success. We'll continue to push for the $7.4 million that we requested and we know that the budget process will be completed in mid-May when the council takes final action on the county's budget. And I will continue to keep you apprised, but once again, I hope that you will join us in helping to make advocacy points for that, but also join us for the State of the College tomorrow, March 28th, and Thursday, March 30th, join us for the third of our Dialogues Across Different series here on the Rockville campus. I hope that you're each doing well, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Be well.